Hi all, welcome back to Easy School Works. In this video, we are going to learn about properties of multiplication of whole numbers. So, let's get started. We have six properties of multiplication. Closure property, commutative property, associative property, property of zero, identity property and distributive property. First, we go with closure property. Closure property. Let us see with the examples. Take two whole numbers 4 and 2 and multiply them. 4 twos are 8 and 8 is a whole number. Take another two whole numbers 6 and 7. Multiply them. 6 sevens are 42 and 42 is a whole number. Now, take two whole numbers 5 and 9. Multiply them. 5 nines are 45 and 45 is a whole number. Here when we are multiplying two whole numbers then we are getting the product as a whole number. Let us say if A and B are any two whole numbers then A into B is equal to whole number. Therefore we can conclude that multiplication is closed under whole numbers. Now commutative property. Let us see with the example. Take two whole numbers 4 and 2 and multiply them. 4 twos are 8. Now change the order and multiply. 2 into 4. 2 fours are 8. See here we are getting the same result even though when we change the order of numbers. Okay. Let us say if A and B are any two whole numbers then a into B is equal to B into A. Therefore, we can conclude that commutative property holds true for multiplication of whole numbers. Now, associative property. Let us see with the example. Take three whole numbers 2, 5 and 4 and find the product. First, multiply 2 and 5. 2, 5 are how much? 10. Now, multiply with 4. 10, 4 are 40. Right? Now change the grouping. First multiply 5 and 4. 5 4s are how much? 20. Now multiply with 2. 2 20s are 40. Right? See here we are getting the same result even though we change the grouping. Okay? Let us say if A, B, C are any 3 whole numbers then A into B of C is equal to A of B into C. Therefore, we can conclude that associative property holds true for multiplication of whole numbers. Now, property of 0. Let us see with the example. Take a whole number 3 and multiply with 0. 3 into 0 is equal to 0. Now, take a whole number 5 and multiply with 0. 0 into 5 is 0. See here, if we multiply a whole number with 0, we are getting the product as 0. Let us say, if A is any whole number, then A into 0 is equal to 0 or else 0 into A is equal to 0. Now, identity property. Let us see with the example. Take a whole number 3 and multiply with 1. 3 ones are 3. Right? Now take a whole number 7 and multiply with 1. 7 ones are 7. Now take a whole number 5 and multiply with 1. 1 fives are 5. See here when we are multiplying a whole number with 1, we are getting the result as that whole number itself. Let us say if A is any whole number, then A into 1 is equal to A or else 1 into A is equal to A. Therefore, 1 is called multiplicative identity of whole numbers. Now, distributive property. Let us see with the example. Take 3 whole numbers, 3, 5 and 4. First, we take the product of 3 and sum of 5 and 4. First, add 5 and 4. 5 plus 4 is how much? 9. Now, multiply with 3. 3 nines are 27. Right? Now, let us solve in another way. First, we multiply 3 and 5 and then 3 and 4. Then we take the sum of these two. Let us see. 
थ्री फाइव जो फिफ्टीन ओके एंड थ्री फोर जो ट्वेल्व नाउ एड फिफ्टीन एंड ट्वेल्व we get the same answer 27 now let us see with the another example take three whole numbers 2 3 and 5 first we take the product of 2 and addition of 3 and 5 see first we add 3 and 5 3 plus 5 is 8 now multiply with 2 2 8 is 16 right now let us do in another way first we multiply 2 and 3 and then we multiply 2 and 5 finally we take the addition of these two 2 3s are how much 6 2 5s are 10 now add 6 and 10 6 plus 10 is 16 in these two cases we get the same answer let us see another type of example take three whole numbers 4 5 and 2 first we take the product of 4 and difference of 5 and 2 5 minus 2 is 3 now multiply with 4 4 3 are 12 okay now let us solve this in another way first we take the product of 4 and 5 then we take the product of 4 and 2 finally we take the difference of these two 4 5 are 20 4 2 are 8 right Now twenty minus eight is twelve. See here we get the same answers. Now let us see the another example. Take three whole numbers five, six, one. First we take the product of five and difference of six and one. Six minus one is five. Now multiply with five. Five five is a twenty-five. Right. Now let us solve in another way. First multiply five and six. Then multiply five and one, and take the difference of these two. Five six are thirty. Five ones are five. Now thirty minus five is twenty-five. See here we get the same answers. Let us say if A, B, C are any three whole numbers, then A into B plus C is equal to A into B plus A into C. And a into b minus c is equal to a into b minus a into c. This is distributive property of multiplication. Okay, I hope this video is very helpful to you. If you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to click on the bell icon. Thank you.